has a straight edge on it, so it's very easy. And maybe in our world here, there lives a happy little mouth. Good morning everybody, welcome back to my vlog. If you are new here, my name is Caitlin. I upload a whole bunch of different types of videos on this channel, mainly around true crime cases. I do psychological experiments. I'm really sorry if you can hear all that noise. My window's open and it, all the college kids are out on their lunch break. So I think this is gonna be the start of a new vlog. Um, I apologize for not, and, I'm, and I've just put this in like the end of a vlog and you're like, what's going on? Um, it's a Wednesday. Um, but last night we finally got Wi-Fi in our new student house So if you haven't really been keeping up my Twitter or, or Instagram or anything then you definitely should Which um, I'll have all my social media on the screen and in the description box But I moved into my third and final year of a uni um, student house And we haven't had Wi-Fi for the last month And it's been a struggle so um, I thought in the spirit of Wi-Fi being back I'd vlog I'm waiting for my coffee to kick in um, I've been getting ready this morning. I had a really slow morning. I got up at about seven. Um, and just like I said, just been really relaxing, waiting for the coffee to kick in, and then I'm gonna film hopefully three videos, depending on how much space I can clear on my memory card. So the plan is, in all honesty, I don't know when you're gonna see this vlog, so it might have already happened. Uh, I'm avoiding asking on Instagram or anything because I don't wanna give it away too much because I'm kind of thinking this is probably gonna go up after it's already started. But my plan is that since my lectures and things don't start until, oh, what's the date today? Uh, they don't start for another two weeks, I think, if that. At the moment, my um, timetable on my university website isn't complete. And at the moment, it's saying that I don't have any lectures in week one, which, I mean, if it's true, it's great. So I'm scheduled to start uni, like the term starts on the 22nd of September. So I've still got at least two weeks where I literally don't have to do anything apart from work on YouTube and do my funny project research which I've pretty much kept up with and virtually finished what I can do now so the plan is to do a mystery week ready or a true crime week I should say ready for freshers week because I thought a lot of you are going into uni actually a lot of my viewers I know that I get a lot of messages so the majority of you I think are going into uni whether it's your first year or not and I thought it would be quite a nice idea to do a true crime week in my freshers week I don't know if it's going to be everyone's freshers week but the idea is there because then it gives you like a video to kind of look forward to every day of that week um so yeah that's what i'm preparing for it's a lot of work but i thought at least while i've got the time to do it i shall so i'm gonna get filming now i'm literally just waiting for the room to cool down because the radiator was on overnight without me realizing in the spare room because this isn't this isn't the room i live in so yes i'll wait for it to cool down then i can shut the window and start filming camera's all set up just need to peel off these a bit because they're looking a little bit sad and limp right so we are on to video number two now and also coffee number two because i am tired <laughs> Good afternoon, so <laughs> it is Thursday morning, well afternoon, I think it's about one o'clock. I've had a really chill morning, just been doing sort of housework, nothing interesting. If you can hear in the background the washing machine's going, because uh, we had a load of washing to do and tumble dryer. We've just come back from Wilco and Home Bargains because we need to pick up a few little bits, just like washing liquid and things. So I've just had lunch with Harry, eating my Hello Panda biscuits because they're my favourite. And I don't really know what the plan is today. I am going out tonight with my friend, well, with my housemate, Caitlin, and also her, one of her work friends. So we're going out tonight, um, which means I'm gonna have to like, do my makeup and stuff later. The plan was to film today again, but I don't really wanna have to do my makeup, take it off, and then redo it for tonight. Because by the time tonight comes, it will have like worn off things, so. I might just have a kind of a chill day, like not do anything on my makeup or hair. Uh, just until tonight and just do a bunch of research around sort of housework. I think that's the plan today. It's really chill. Not very 
exciting. I just popped to a corner shop, it's just around the corner because I have this bottle somewhere of the Edinburgh Gin Distillery Rhubarb and Ginger Liqueur. A rhubarb and Ginger Gin, that. My mum gave me because she bought it for herself and didn't like it and I'm a big fan of it so I needed to pop and get some lemonade. They didn't have any lemonade, well they did, but it was extortionate pricing so I picked up some uh, gin and tonic. No, I picked up some tonic water. So I've had a lot of people tell me not to drink this with tonic because it doesn't taste great but I'm going to give it a go. I'm thinking I'll be alright because I like the taste of this. I feel like I might have put a little bit too much tight water in. Oh no, that's really nice. <laughs> Such a bitter taste, like my taste is so bitter. I love anything bitter. How many times can I say bitter? So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this, my mostly tonic water. Do some more work. Okay, so what I'm gonna do very quickly, I've asked on Instagram if you guys wanted to see a, like, a little get ready with me segment for tonight and most of you said yes so i'm gonna start that now it's still early it's only about four half four um, and i'm not going out until way later but i'm gonna do my hair now i'm gonna show you what i usually do for a night out because i put my hair up in pink curls and obviously the longer you leave pink curls in the longer your curls last so i'm gonna start that now i'll show you what i do and then just look like an idiot with pink curls in for like the rest of the day <laughs> It's like nine o'clock now. I've had these in for maybe about five hours, but I'm just gonna leave them in a little bit longer while I do my makeup. I've got about an hour until Caitlin comes home from work and she gets ready. So, um, got about an hour to do my makeup. I'm gonna take my time. I was gonna talk through it, but honestly, I don't really know what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna time lapse it because I'm not really good at makeup, so I kind of just do whatever it feels like doing. So, yeah, I'm just gonna remove well, I'm not really removing anything, I'm just washing my face with my micellar water moisturising and then I shall get going. morning everybody so it's actually saturday morning now i think the last time i left you was uh me getting ready for my night out and i had promised i was gonna film my night out but okay full disclaimer i did film some clips but they were genuinely tragic so i will work on that i promise i've said for ages i'm gonna try and vlog my night outs so i will try again next time but today is another work day so Harry's got work today, um, I'm going to leave the house at the same time he does because I need to go to Poundland and Wilco to get a couple bits like um, I need to get micellar water and things um, and then I'm going to come back and film some more videos so that is my plan for today and I will keep you guys updated. Back from Poundland, I did, I swear down, I did whip my phone out and try and film in there but it was genuinely manic because it's a Saturday so... Sorry about that, I'm really slacking, but I thought I'd show you what I got. It's honestly, <laughs> it's a bit of a naughty shop because I have bought just crap, pretty much, like food crap. But I'm really craving crap. <laughs> so I got a packet of chipsticks because me and Harry have been talking about them and ever since we were talking about them, I'm craving them. Dolly mixtures because I got this um, set of pack of porridge oats. This is the, the syrup one. They're just like the sachets, but I'm really craving porridge at the moment for some reason. So I'm not usually a cereal person, but I'm really craving porridge. 
I needed some micellar water, so I got the Nivea one. This was two pounds in there, but I thought I'd spend about the same for just a micellar water elsewhere. So while I was in there, I thought I'd pick it up and you know, it's Nivea. Then I also needed some more body lotion. So I got this one, it's the only one in there. Um, I was hoping to find the one that I bought last time. It's like a massive Dove one that's lasted me so long, but I didn't have it. So I just got the Vaseline Aloe Soothe one. And they're not very interesting. I've got a packet of gum and some aloe vera hand sanitizer. If you couldn't tell, I'm a big fan of aloe vera. I also went into Boots and got some lunch, um, but that's not very interesting. But I did get some more lip balm. My favorite one of these Burt's Bees one. Oh, <laughs> my favorite one of the Burt's Bees ones is the vanilla bean one. But literally, the only place that I can find it is MS, and we don't have an MS near me. Um, we have to go into Hanley. So, yeah, I've settled with this one. This is the sweet orange one. And I haven't tried it yet, so we're gonna give that a go. It's Monday, I just had a shower, so I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna film some videos today because I have a very exciting thing hopefully going up next week, so I'm preparing myself for that. Uh, I think today we've also got to a food shop um nothing too interesting it's like the final week now before uni starts we um well our freshers week starts this coming saturday so yes it's all kind of like uni prep now while i'm waiting for my moisturizer to set in um before i do my makeup i'm going to change my nails over because i've had these nails on for about a week now they are gorgeous like i love them from primark it's like this pink glitter here and stuff so I have just put these on maybe about a week ago, but they're getting pretty scuffed because they're white. Um, just from where I've been like writing in things. So they were called All Glitters, they were £2 part of this glitter mix. So now I have to choose for this week between, I have this one called French Edit Charcoal and Cloud. So I don't know which ones I'm going to go for. I'm about to film video number one of the day. I'm feeling very dark and gothic. Didn't intend it. I just thought it looked cute. Um, so I'm wearing this mesh top from Forever 21. This is MAC in my fashion. I love this one. It's like a really dark brown, grey toned brown. Uh, Pajama bottoms, obviously. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to get started um, filming the clips for True Crime Week, which obviously you will, should you should have seen by now. Right, so it's now quarter to two. I have filmed two videos, so I'm happy girl. I'm gonna stop working now. Well, I'm gonna stop filming now. Uh, we just collected the post, so if you can hear Harry opening letters on the background, that's what he's doing. But I have two very exciting packages I'm gonna show you. One from Beauty Bay. Well, it's not that exciting, just things that. <laughs> this is something, this Beauty Bay package is something I bought. And then I have two pieces of clothing that my mum bought for me, which is very nice of her. So I'm just gonna open those up now. So from Beauty Bay, I picked up the Ordinary Serum Foundation because I asked for foundation recommendations on Instagram. And quite a few of you actually said this one was amazing. I really wanted like an affordable, lightweight one. So I got this one. I can't remember. I think it was like a fair one, fair shade. Oh, there. One NS Very Fair. And it looks like so nice. Like I've just put a bit on my my arm and it feels so nice i'm definitely excited to try this out i'll probably try this out tonight and then my mum ordered me some bits from miss selfridge because she really liked them so i got two things i'll put a photo on the screen of both of them they're not very good photos but i've just tried them on including these beautiful trousers that i'm in love with that i'm wearing at the moment also a jumpsuit that's over there that you can kind of see but yeah like i said i'll put the photos on the screen so i am feeling like a very spoiled girl today all right so now we are off out to grab some food we need to do a food shop for the week so off at Aldi. Good morning so we are about to head off out into town we're just gonna go uh, have a look around I need to look at some bits for a sponsorship um Harry needs to get some bits from Holland and Barrett we're gonna get some lunch as well I'll show you what I'm wearing really quickly but it's like the new jumpsuit that I got yesterday that I showed you in the vlog. I'm just wearing it with like a little crop white t-shirt from Primark some white trainers and we're good to go. Good morning, it is Wednesday morning. I am just about to dye my hair. I just ran out, I look like a steak because I haven't showered or anything because I'm doing this. I went out to get some hair dye. So I've gone a little bit darker, but it's semi-permanent. So I figured going darker was better because it lasts longer. So yes, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do now. Right, so, okay, there's a massive flare. We've had a success story with this dye. I don't know if you can see because I'm wearing a black top, um, but it is very dark. 
and it looks really good. I got it absolutely everywhere, but I think because it was semi-permanent, it was like my saving grace, it didn't stain. Like I got it all over my neck and all on my arms, but it's gone now. So I love that dye. Like the casting cream gloss is my favorite. If you're looking for semi-permanent, see if you can see better. If you're looking for a semi-permanent dye, the casting cream gloss is my favorite. Good morning, so it is Thursday morning and I'm just starting off this morning um, while I was getting ready. A package came for me, so I'm just waiting for my hair to finish drying, but I thought I'd open this package of, uh, on this vlog because it's a PR package that I'm really excited to try out. I can try it out. It came just in time for me to do my makeup if it is what I think it is, so I'm going to open it up for you guys now. I absolutely love this packaging, like it's so cute, so I think it is what I think it is. But I could be wrong. So this is the, is it Lab 2 or Lab Squared uh, Live and Breathe Beauty. These are green tea infused makeup brushes. They are like the eye sort of ones. Um, I'm really excited to try these out. I love green tea. I think it has so many health benefits for your body. And so I am really excited to test these out. So I'm going to try these out while I do makeup and I'll let you guys know what I think. Thank you so much for sending me these to me, uh, Lab2, Lab Squared, and also to Sparkle PR because I'm very, very excited. I'm in the spare room now. The weather outside is absolutely miserable, so hopefully it won't be too dark um, on camera, and hopefully I can just sort of make it a little bit lighter on editing. But yes, I am going to film. Hopefully, the plan is two videos, three if I can, but I don't think the lighting is going to let me. Uh, just two videos, the next two videos I need to film for True Crime Week next week. So, yeah. Good morning, it's Friday morning. We've just got back in from town. We ran out and had some breakfast really quickly and yeah, it's just we fancied a fry up and we don't have anything, like any breakfast bits in the house. So we just thought we'd treat ourselves to a cheap little English, English breakfast, full English. Um, so I picked up a couple of wicks. Not very interesting, but I thought I'd show you anyway, in the spirit of my vlogs, I always do this, if you guys have seen my other vlogs. So, um, probably least interesting, but like, this is something I can't live without now. I've been converted to erasable pens. So this is the Zebra erasable pens. I got this from Pr Primark. <laughs> I'm not functioning. I got this from Poundland. They sell these at the moment in Poundland, and I'm loving it, because in like WH Smith, they're about four quid, so... Yes, it was the only one in there that they have run out and I'm really sad. So I'm gonna have to start splurging on these. And then I got a couple makeup bits in Superdrug. So I got a new Revolution concealer because I was out of my last one. This is the Conceal and Define. I love it. I've been converted from the collection one to this. I think it sits nice on my skin. Like it's definitely not as high coverage as the collection one, but it looks like it blends a little bit more seamlessly, which I love. So I got this one in the shade C2. I had C3 last time and it was ever so slightly dark for my palest skin, so thought I'd go the next one down. That was £4. And then my two eyebrow products, I always get asked what I use on my eyebrows and because I've dyed my hair dark now, I had to go a shade darker, so I thought I'd pick up a new eyebrow pencil. So this is the e.l.f. brow pencil, it's like literally £3. I got this one in deep brown. It's the darkest they do. If they did black, I would have gotten that, but yep, £3. And then I use the clear brow and lash mascara also three pounds from elf literally this is my perfect dream combination i love these two together so that is everything i bought we're gonna have a working day now mm -hmm. 